Solo dance, Martin Jensen at Isle of Wight Radio. Hello, good morning. It is time for today's headline or hearsay. If you are joining us on Facebook, then hello to you. Uh, people now joining us from literally right the way around the world. I know, it's great. To play this game. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought? We, we probably do more for island tourists than the most other things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to join us, by the way, facebook.com forward slash Isle of White Radio, and you can help us play along. Oh, um, what? What? Crikey. What? I've seen what you've done this uh, morning. What have I done? <laughs> I've the fact I'm just <laughs> gobbling a load of pizza. <laughs> To be fair, that is the best one so far, isn't it? I thought, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> just just look, look in the camera and open your mouth. Look at that. Brilliant. Anyway. <laughs> uh, if you want to play along, go to Facebook. You can play along there. Uh, this is the way it works. Uh, stories that Charlotte has crafted using her journalistic skills and years of training uh, to try and basically catch us out with true stories and false sort of stories we just have to work out which ones are headline and which ones are completely made up hearsay what's the score so far this week Hayley um it is three nil to us okay it's <laughs> a great start yes yeah you ready yep here we go then Workers who are having a bad day at the office are more likely to devour lardy lunches and junk food, according to a survey. Compar comparably, workers with a positive approach to their job pick up healthy lunch lunches like salads and low-calorie sandwiches. More than three quarters, that's 77% of the 2,000 British workers surveyed, said their mood in the office definitely impacted on the food they eat at lunchtime. Is that headline or hearsay? Well, what do you think about that? 100%. Do you think? 100% that is true. Because if you're having a bad day at the office, sometimes you just want pizza, <laughs> burger, McDonald's. I must admit, you kind of think, oh, I'll treat myself. Yeah. I make myself feel a little bit better with maybe mm. a, a, a naughty lunch. Julie said, just says morning this morning. So does Hayley. Hello. Uh, and Nakali as well this morning. Uh, what do we think then? Is it headline or is it hearsay? Do we go for a naughty lunch? You don't quite get that same satisfaction from a salad, do you? I don't know. It depends. If it's if it's got lots of cheese on it, then uh, it's... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you don't like cheese, No, I hate you? cheese. A good, a good salad, I think, is fine. Yeah, but... With... Julie yeah. thinks it's headline. Corinne thinks it's headline this morning. Uh, who else do we have? Oh, mine's not updating, so maybe you can help. Oh, so we've got Joan, Joan saying here, say this morning. Corinne, Julie. Oh, that's my button. Can you hear it? Yeah, we can. Yeah. It, it won't go down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I keep pressing it. Oh, here we go. So Jane saying here, say. Uh, Kirk is saying good morning, and it's a headline, Melissa and Luca. And um, we've got Emma saying headline. We've got David Harry. He's saying headline this morning. Also, Hayley Newby. She's saying headline. Okay. I don't know whether you mentioned Kirk Wilde, but uh, thinks it's headline. And Melissa and Luke. Oh, yes, you did do that one. Yeah, okay. Sorry. So, what are we going with? Headline. Okay. We're going with headline. Charlotte? Well, it's a headline. Oh. Hey. <laughs> don't look so sad. You could win this one. Yeah. Could, yeah. Try your hardest. Okay. When Andrew Perry caught a teenager shoplifting from his costume store, he decided against calling the police and instead made the embarrassed 18-year-old dress up as Bert from Bert and Ernie. The teen was made to step into the costume and carry a sign saying that he was a shoplifter while standing in front of the store for a total of six hours. Apparently the shop owner didn't want to press charges as a criminal record might have harmed the teenager's future. Is that a headline or hearsay? Mm. I like that. Good lesson learned. Humiliation is more than the punishment sometimes, isn't it? It's like, is it in America where they get like, people to wear um, A boards and stand on the side of the street saying I'm a shoplifter or something? <laughs> I, I've not heard that, but I think it's brilliant. Brilliant. So, what do we think? Uh, is that headline or hearsay this morning? Is yours working? No. Okay, so we've got <laughs> Emma Elliott, she's saying hearsay this morning. Maz is also saying headline. And we've got Hayley Newby, she's saying headline. Um, Corinne, she's saying hearsay. Kirk Wilde again is saying hearsay. Um, Trish is saying good idea, but hearsay. Okay, so the general consensus hearsay, do we think? Um, no, because we've got some headline. Laura Skinner, she's saying headline. And we've also got Steve Winfield Hunt, he's saying headline. Julie Hollister, hearsay. Could have been done for kids. <laughs> So, what do we think then? I think headline. Okay, we're going headline. It's 
headline. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think you'd believe that one. Oh. Oh. Last one. Here we go. It's it's the ultimate indulgence. A dessert costing more than fifteen thousand pounds that features twenty-four karat edible gold, rare cocos, and shavings from the world's most expensive truffle. Served in a served in a golden goblet with a white diamond bracelet attached, the chocolate dessert from New York has unsurprisingly been crowned the world's most expensive pud. Apparently, two hundred have been sold in the past five years, mainly to men trying to show off to their girlfriends. Is that a headline or hearsay? Would you be impressed with that? Yeah. <laughs> How much was it? Uh, more than 15,000. Wow. Would you be impressed with that, Charlotte? Um, I'd, 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 Go be, on. I'd like to try it, but I'd be, I wouldn't be able to be with somebody who spends that much on the dessert. So just yeah. think of all the galaxies. I'd enjoy it and then got. say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. I'll leave you with the check. Thanks uh, for that one. <laughs> two spoons? No, 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 just the one. Just the one. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. David I mean, Blake is saying 100% headline. Oh, really? Hayley That's... Newbray, hearsay. Hayley Moore, hearsay. Julie Hollister, hearsay. Laura Skinner, hearsay. Brent, he's saying headline. That's a real mixed bag. Yeah. Uh... Let's just on the Lord of, Lord of Averages. We've had two headlines. Yeah. It must be a hearsay. Do we think it's a hearsay then? I think hearsay. Yeah. Okay, we're going hearsay. It's a headline. Oh, Ooh. sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Well there done, you go. Charlotte. Yeah, so <laughs> well done for getting one right. Well done. So $15,000. 15730 yes. Wow. <laughs> it's quite a dessert. I mean, this is ridiculous. Truffles Why? aren't the ones that it, like, pigs find out of the ground. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, in a dessert. I'm not sure I'd like that. I don't. Unless it's a chocolate truffle. Yeah, I like that. I like chocolate truffle. Anyway, headline or hearsay, back at the same time, same place tomorrow. Thank you very much if you played along on uh, Facebook or played along at home just shouting. Yes, a lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> stop me and say, I sit there in the car just shouting <laughs> headline, headline, <laughs> hearsay. So uh, thank you if you did that this morning. It's quarter to eight. It's Isle of Wight Radio, latest travel news on the way. Uh, problems this morning with Red Funnel. Indeed, yes. Ten minute delays due to reduced visibility. OK, more on that coming up very soon. First of all, though, this is Mary Mary. It's Isle of Wight Radio. It's nearly quarter to eight now. Bye-bye, Facebook. Oh, we've got someone from Mexico. Ah, oh. nice, bonjour, like, Mexico. Yay, how exciting. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye. Have a good day.